All you need is a scissors, which I don't have here. You need a squeegee for your film. You need a bottle opener, an infrared thermometer, or any other type of thermometer will work. A lightproof Patterson tank. You're going to need Ilford Rapid Fixer. Kodak HC110 developer. A beaker in U.S. fluid ounces. And another container to hold your Rapid Fixer because you're going to be reusing it. Now before you start doing anything, you're going to want to pre-mix your solutions. You're going to want to take about 10 to 11 ounces of 68 degree water and you're going to want to take approximately one ounce of HC110 and you're going to want to mix it up really well in the beaker. You're then going to want to take one part rapid fixer and four parts water and mix it up really well in your container. You can just shake it up, it doesn't matter. You're going to want enough, uh, approximately 10 to 11 ounces to fit into uh, the single reel Patterson tank at minimum. Guys, the next step, you're going to want to go into a lightproof room, closet, whatever, doesn't matter. You're going to want to take your film canister and you're going to want to pop this end off here. Then when that's off in the lightproof room, you're going to want to hold your film like so and snip it off with the scissors. And then you're going to do so at the other end. Next up, when you're in your dark lightproof room, you're going to want to take your Patterson reel and your film that you just snipped off the end of the uh, canister, and you're going to want to insert it into the reel like that, and then you crank it. And this will get your 24 or 36 exposures onto the reel, like so. Next up, you're going to want to take your Patterson tank and you're going to take the film that's already on the reel with the black piece that's on the bottom of the reel facing downward towards the tank. You're just going to want to drop the film reel in like so. Then you're going to take the cap or the inner cap and then tighten it on just like that. Now you have a light proof seal. You've got your film in the reel and the light seal cap in place. You want to go ahead and you're already pre-mixed developer and you're going to want to pour it all in here. Uh, that's about 11 ounces total, and it'll fill it up just right. Then you're going to want to take your cap, pop it on, make sure it's sealed, and now you're ready to agitate. Agitate gently, like so, for about 10 seconds for every minute, up to about 8 minutes for the 10 minute development process. Once you're done developing for 10 minutes, you'll take your cap off and then you can dispose of the developer chemicals. Generally, you should probably put it into another container and dispose of it properly some other way. Um, it's up to you. Once you've poured out all your chemical or your developer, you're going to want to take your reel and you're going to want to put it under 68 degree water to wash it for about one minute. Take this little uh, lever and then you can pop it in and start to spin the reel so you can get actual coverage of all the water. Once this is, once one minute is up, pour out the water and then you can add your fixer. You want to just pour it in the same way you did your developer and hold it in there for five minutes. Once you're done washing your film, go ahead and pour out all the water. there. You want to take your rapid fixer or wherever you put your solution and you're going to want to pour it in to the Patterson tank. Once your fixer is in the Patterson tank, gently agitate the tank for about 10 seconds for every one minute up to three minutes for a total of five minutes. The remaining two minutes you just want to let it sit gently. After your fixer process is over with, you're going to want to take it pour it back into your fixer canister because you can reuse it for a number of times. And then you're going to want to take your reel, 68 degree water one more time for about 10 minutes and let it wash. Once your film is done, pull it out of the tank and then you can begin to peel it off the reel. But do so gently, you don't want to leave any scratches. After your film is off the tank, you can go ahead and put it on a hanging clip, take your squeegee, make sure to wet it a little bit first, and you can take the water and gently squeegee it off your roll of film. Then you can hang and let it dry. Now you get to clean all this crap up.